The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has issued a final warning to top executives of banks to submit their assets declaration forms by the end of the month. This is coming after the initial deadline of June 14 was disobeyed. A legal practitioner believes the EFCC is serious this time around about punishing the bank executives if they fail to comply. Details in this report. The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Abdul Rashid Bawa, has written a reminder to top bank executives, giving them till the end of June to comply with an order to declare their assets. This follows an initial warning given to the bankers in line with the Bank Employees Act 1986, which was disobeyed. The executive chairman of Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, Debo Adenuron, who was on the Plus TV breakfast show, spoke on what the EFCC under Bawa can do differently to ensure compliance as the act has been in place for many years. The EFCC under Bawa should activate the instrumentality of school mode that is the special control unit against money laundering and ensure that every corporate organization registers under that uh, platform. He also spoke on how we can fix the processes that makes it easy to steal. So most of these people in the private sector, sector and other professionals, I mentioned it the other time, like uh, lawyers, like accountants, like bankers, like estate um, developers, they help these people to loan their money. So all of these people should be under perpetual watch of the anti-corruption agency. There should be inter-agency cooperation. On his part, a legal practitioner says that these bank executives will face the consequences if they fail to comply, and the excuses they've been given won't be considered again. At the end of this month, because most of the bank directors have already given excuse that the, the courts were uh, not in section for two months, that, that is true actually, and as such they will not notarize uh, some of the, the document that requires them because they are supposed to be under oath and all that. That is tenable, but now the courts have opened and then they have between now and the end of the month to do that. Whoever fails to do it, then the EFCC will have the uh, legal uh, authority to prosecute that person. The Bank Employees Act has been in place for more than 35 years, but was hardly enforced. This allowed bankers to declare whatever they want or not declare at all. But the EFCC is now demanding total compliance. For Plus TV Africa, Gozika or Haichesi. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.